My name is Terry Doyle, and I'm going to read from my novel. It's called The Wards. Uh, it's a book about a working class Newfoundland family. And this little section, it involves the father, the patriarch of the family, as he's leaving to go to work at uh, Boise's Bay. He was dizzy as the plane pulled itself from the tarmac and tore him to the sky, away from his family. Men around him talked and complained and boasted about Christmas coming and the needless headaches their wives would cause over it, and about the things they'd found to spend their money on while home. There wasn't a man on that plane who wasn't soaring away at a thousand miles an hour from someone they loved. And this is how they showed it. It was no good to say the thing, not if you couldn't stand the look of yourself, but to provide. That was how they knew to do it. It was paramount. What did they have to give and know how to use beside their strength and their time? What good were they at home if at home they didn't have a pot to piss in? They were men who worked. It wasn't just what they did, it was who they were how they identified. There was a culture among them, a culture that fit inside a small plane and was moved from site to site. If there were other avenues to being valued, other means of contributing to your family, your community, it was not clear where those avenues lay. The avenue was fogged in and the work was a beacon. There was certainty in the work, in the paycheck. You could be certain you were alive and those you loved could be helped by your work or by your money. Al felt dizzy. He closed his eyes and tried to imagine he was in his garage or up to the cabin, just him and Gloria. Soon it would be just him and Gloria. Gussie would finally be on his way. They'd raised him up, Gussie and Dana. All his work had not been for nothing. And on his next rotation home, in 21 days, he'd see them, both of them. This would be his last turnaround before Christmas. Then in the new year, they'd start again. He'd rotate back, back to work, back to the place where he knew he had value measurable value. Thank you.